All right, we have made it to the top, and we're gonna just show off this. This is the Elmo. He doesn't have any really reasonable attacks, so we're just gonna leave. I'm sick and tired of all these battles here anyway. Ah, a book. Hmm. No. Uh huh. I guess. Huh, at least we have our next objective, huh? Well, that solution to the boat is not good. So I'm glad I activate the final lighthouse. There, all six have been activated. I guess that's the eternal iceberg. Now we know what we're looking for. Now how will we get there? Oh, that's easy enough. Nah, yeah, but we made it miracle ourselves. But before we go to the Italian Iceberg, there's a little short step we have to make. We're going to go back to Philosera and pick up some items. You know what items I'm talking about. That's right, that door is now open. So we're going to leave here, go to Philosera. But first, of course, we're going to use the compass to get there the easy way. Go to 1. And that should take us. Then we just go south from there, and we should be our way to Felicera. We pick up some items, and these are some really good items. So this is definitely worth going back and getting. We go in here, and now we can actually get the stuff from the left. Door as you see is open, and we get the Philistine drop, which is a good item. The Felina shield, the Felina helmet, and finally the Felina armor. That's right, this is Felina's ultimate equipment. Now, of course, I had to equip them, and we will be from here. We'll go to three, we'll go to Lighthouse Three, and from there, we will go to. Oh yes, I also go to the black market to stack up on items. I get 50 of everything. I sold my old coins. I had like four of them. And pretty much 50 of all the healing items because we are getting close to the end of the game. That's right, people. I know this is a short RPG. As you can see, there's is where the Eternal Iceberg was. Yes, I know. It's kind of weird geography-wise. Bear with me. Ahaha. <laughs> Iceberg. Get it? And of course... Here, I go and I get some items. I stack up all the other items that are there. I get 50 of all the healing items. I also get the belt for for nest. It's like one one hand hammer. The diamond gloves for Felina. I bought a topaz, which I think is good against electricity, and the goggles, which protects against blindness. Oh. Okay. As you can see, this town is really small. But, yeah. Uh, no. We come this far. Uh, no, old man. So, we can have an ice guide. Oh, that son of a bitch. 
I knew there was something up with that guy turning back. I never knew what was up. Extremely lucky. Dude, what? Wait, wait, so we know that Flynn is an actual person that actually exists, yet we're not gonna try to take out their symbol. I mean, they took out our symbol, but we're not gonna take out theirs. Okay, what's up, Rabba? One, what's, what's up on your sleeve? Hmm. Seems like Rabba One has definitely got a flag going. Uh, of course, in the Japanese version, it was Kuwabara, Kuwabara. But, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Ooh, what? Oh, that old man just... The old man did the same thing. Oh, uh, see? The Empire still has his fingers everywhere. So let's go into the Eternal Iceberg. Now, this place is pretty straightforward. Well, not straightforward, but it's... Now, here's the best item in this whole entire area. The last email, which is the ultimate equipment... Oh, ultimate mail for Hunter. And come around here and go up here. You got scale. Yes, there's a lot of enemies here as well. Um, the Rooter Rooters from outside of here are here. There's a couple of enemies you've seen before. But there's some new ones, of course, because. Ah, here are three right here. The Sea Bio. The. Ice Scorpion and the Ice Spider. The Sea Bio, they can, of course, blow your defense with these little defense. But a Shadowing Ray, which is something I'm learning right here. Oh, yes, a lot of people. It's a, it, these battles give you a lot of experience. You can. Well, as I went through here, I gained like four levels. I, I see they can body slam and lower your defense a bit. And you can still scale from sea bios. I learned, uh, Lila learned life aid eggs, which is, uh, which is revive eggs, which I think fully heals you. Bloody stab and pierce. Ness learned pierce. Hunter learned lunatic act, which is a very good ability. Felina learned showering ray, which is a ray spell, or well, a crystal spell. Crystal ability, yeah, sorry. Life aid eggs and lunatic egg as well. It's a lunatic egg is a melee attack, so it's it's very powerful, but it's really random in its damage. Cure water, that's very useful. And we can also yes, uh, as I said, the sea bios also have eerie song, which will confuse you. And these ice scorpions have discharge, which can paralyze you. It does a tiny bit of damage, can paralyze you. Right here, got some rare aqua, very useful. Now we come to the last two treasures of the area, really. The adrenaline plus, which is always useful, definitely for this area where we had to use a lot of TP. Easy radio, well, you know. And now we go up around here, and we are at the end of the iceberg. Oh, come on. It's not, I mean, all legends are true. It's an RPG. See? Hidden passage. What? Um, Yeti. No, no boss battle? No? Oh, okay. I guess this is where the wild things are. That old man was in on it too? I knew it. 
Oh, so there's 29 Black Devils? At least? So I'd say probably at least 30 of them. See, we didn't kill most of them. We killed about half of them. Like any old ancient god must speak in broken English and ellipses, which don't make sense for this dialogue. That's not how you use ellipses. 